Welcome to the Amazon HTML Converter and Editor tool where you can convert, clean, and create your Amazon product description HTML all in this one area. So let's talk about the three ways you can use this tool. You can go ahead and go to your Seller Central and copy existing HTML that you have and activate the HTML mode in the editor, paste the HTML inside there, and then you can start working with the HTML. You can see a text output here of what it looks like. So you have a preview of what it will look like on Amazon, and then you also have the HTML, the cleaned up HTML tags based on the rules you apply. The second way you can use it is if you like to type up your product descriptions beforehand in a Google Doc. One of the powerful things about the tool is if you're working over here, let's get rid of this text. And let's go back to the editor mode. So we, we don't want this activated. So we're just going to paste in the plain text from the Google Doc. And one of the powerful things here is that you'll notice it outputs very clean HTML, which is not typical if you've ever worked with editors like Shopify or WordPress or other basic editors out there online. What you're going to get typically is this gobbledygook code. So I'll just show you, for example, if I paste this text in here and I go to the source code, look what most editors do. They add in span tags, style tags, font sizes, and all these characters that just look horrible and aren't going to be accepted by Amazon. And at the same time, they eat up your character count on Amazon. So if you go back to the tool, you'll notice that there's a 2000 character limit and Amazon includes spaces and HTML characters. So you'll want to minimize those characters as much as possible. Now, the third way that you can use this tool is just writing your product description from scratch. If you so choose, you could just say, this is my product. And then if you wanted to, you could create a list item and let's go ahead and add a bullet. Let's go ahead and bold something. And you can see that it's building your code right here. And maybe you're tuning me out a little bit right now because you're like, well, you can't use lists on Amazon. Well, that's where the rules come in. And we'll get into that a little bit later. For example, typically editors handle list items in a certain way to build the HTML. But with these rules, you can convert it into a format that is acceptable to Amazon, such as let's say replacing that bullet with a dash. So you can see that the code is nice and clean now. And the text over here that you can preview, instead of having the bullet, it just has like a dash which would be something friendly to Amazon. And that's where the power of the rules will come in later. So let's just recap the three ways you can do this. You can go ahead and copy and paste existing HTML from Amazon. You could copy and paste information that you have inside of a Word document or a Google Doc. And you can also, of course, create your product description from scratch. All right, so why do we create this tool? If you want to have a look, there's a long blog post here talking about why we created this tool. Of course, it's probably um, the biggest reason being how Amazon banned Amazon product description HTML and some of the limitations and conversions that needed to happen. So you can read through the post to learn more about that. But we wanted to build this tool to help make it easy for sellers to convert those listings to clean the HTML if they pasted it in from Word documents and also just to create descriptions from scratch. So let's go ahead and go back to Seller Central. Let's copy that code here let's go to our html view and let's replace all of this code with this code from seller central and we can toggle between the editor view and the html view but what i want to show you now is no matter how you get the text in here whether you create it from scratch paste it from seller central or paste it in from a document everything else after this is the same so you'll have these rules that you can apply based on your needs in order to change the html over here to comply with your needs or what Amazon needs. So one of the most common things that people will do is they'll take paragraph tags that they may have had in their listing and they will use a line break instead. So you can see this rule here says replace paragraph HTML tags, which is a P tag with line break tags. So on the right hand side, you can see we have paragraph tags in here. And if we apply that rule, those will disappear and BR tags will be BR tags will be used in place of that. Now, another rule that you can apply that's pretty common is replacing bold text with something. So if you have bold text in here, which you can see we do, let's go ahead and actually go to text view. It's probably a little bit easier to see it here, but the best do it all cleaning gloves. Now let's go ahead and take all bold text and let's replace bold text with uppercase text. And you can see all occurrences of that bold text now here in the text preview are gone and they have been replaced with uppercase text. And then of course you can see that the bold tags are now gone over here in the HTML and everything has been cleaned. So let's talk about a couple of other rules that are pretty cool. So let's say you actually want to apply some uppercase rules. Maybe you want to change all of your uppercase words to title case words, meaning it will capitalize the first letter of every word that is capitalized. So let's just keep an eye on this here at the top, the best do it all cleaning gloves. And let's replace uppercase words with title case words. And you'll see how it creates an uppercase letter only for the first letter of each word. One limitation that I will let you know about is that the tool will not be able to detect if that uppercase word is a business name or um, an acronym such as let's say ACV 
for apple cider vinegar. So if you do mess around with the uppercase letters and maybe lowercase them or title case them, you'll want to keep an eye out for those types of things and manually make those changes right here inside of the editor. I hope you enjoy the tool. Go ahead and submit your feedback in the lower right hand corner if you have any feature requests.